We begin tonight with safety in the schools in the city. Terrified parents are demanding action after five handguns, two of them loaded, were confiscated by school safety agents in just the past two days. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer here now with the story. Marsha? Well, Dana, it's a call to arms to get rid of the arms, pistols and revolvers that are showing up in the backpacks and back pockets of students all too frequently. Parents say the combined shortage of safety agents and scanning equipment is endangering the lives of their kids. This situation is so urgent. Mona David is just one of a number of angry parents and activists outside the Mott Haven School Complex in the Bronx, where a 15 year old student was found with his fully loaded 22 caliber pistol as the result of a random screening. It was simply a miracle that it happened on that day because this school does not have screening. The school does not have metal detectors. CBS2 cameras found that students did have to go through metal detectors today, a typical reaction of the Department of Education, a show of action after a problem has been discovered. The same thing happened two weeks ago after a student was stabbed at Fannie Lou Hamer Freedom High School in the Bronx. Scanners in the morning were removed just three hours later. It was over a year ago that this union warned the parents of the incoming danger when the schools open. Gregory Floyd, the head of the school safety agents union, says he's not surprised that five guns were confiscated in the past two days, included this loaded 32 caliber and a bag of marijuana at Adlai Stevenson High School in the Bronx, this 32 caliber pistol at FDR High School in Brooklyn, this pink handgun at Junior High School 98 in the Bronx. He says there's a shortage of safety agents. Instead of 5,500, there are now 3,700 because the city has not replaced agents who either retired or are not at at work because they refused to get the COVID vaccine. We said your children are in danger. The union says Mott Haven had eight agents when the gun was found before attrition had had 17 to staff the five schools in the complex. Meanwhile, this video just surfaced a school safety agent dragged to the floor while trying to break up a wild scuffle at Wagner High School on Staten Island. Councilman Joe Borelli, who tweeted the video, demanding to know, quote, whether or not they were short school safety agents due to the vaccine. Vaccine mandate. The school safety union telling CBS2 there were seven agents on duty at Wagner. Before attrition and the vaccine mandate, there were 19. As far as the guns are concerned, parents have pretty much given up on Mayor de Blasio and are asking the next mayor to take up the issue. As mayor of the city of New York, I want to elevate these school safety officers. I want to hire more. I want them in the streets, not just in the schools. Finding five guns in schools in two that days, should, that should be alarming to all of us. Uh, it's, it's a real concern of mine, and that's why I'm going to make sure that we have our school safety agents well trained. Well, the Department of Education did not respond to my question of how many of the city's over 1,700 schools actually have metal detectors. A spokeswoman insisting the agency works with the NYPD every day to provide additional coverage and random scanning where necessary. The problem with where necessary is that it usually is after an incident has occurred. Dana. Marsha, thank you.